Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for October 30th, 2014. It's currently 7 a.m. and we are a bit colder than what we were yesterday, as for sure, with temperatures in the upper 30s to lower 40s over the interior and lower to mid 40s along the immediate coast, with some areas of fog reducing visibility below a mile in some locations. That fog will lift by 10 a.m., but in the meantime, use some caution when driving because this fog is locally dense and it is creating some problems. Winds are generally light and variable around 5 miles per hour. Those winds will start to come in from the northwest around 10 to 20 miles per hour this afternoon as an area of low pressure starts to get its act together off the mid-Atlantic coast over the next 48 hours and producing some interesting forecast complexities uh, moving forward. Basically, it's going to be interesting over the next 48 hours, especially right along the coast, for the potential for some moderate heavy rainfall. Let's take a look at the latest surface map, and you can see the cold front's well off the coast. Here we have high pressure in place over the upper Midwest that's extending into the uh, northern Mid-Atlantic and the northeast. We have an area of low pressure that is kind of meandering here off the southeast coast. Keep an eye on this low pressure system over the next 48 hours. And we have another disturbance over the upper Midwest and uh, Northern Plains. And then we have another disturbance way up here in Canada that we're keeping an eye on in the upper levels. These disturbances are going to come together to produce, well, some interesting weather along the East Coast, as for sure, for Saturday, with the potential for some moderate to heavy rainfall right along the immediate coast. Let's take a look at the radar. Really not much going on. It's high and dry. This is what's called ground clutter. Really nothing going on here. It is a dry, wonderful morning with no threats of any precipitation. On the infrared satellite picture, that cold front's off the coast. Basically, sky cloud cover is going to be in place for today with this high pressure system. And as far as the water vapor satellite picture is concerned, this is where we start to see our players. This disturbance is what we're watching here. As this disturbance dives south and interacts with the coastal waters with the very warm coastal waters and polar air mass is going to lead to the development of a strong low pressure system what's called an inverted trough and these inverted troughs can be very difficult to forecast for right now my focus is right along the immediate coast of New Jersey up through Long Island and coastal Connecticut for the potential for some moderate to heavy rainfall the further west you are from the coast the more likely you'll see limited impacts Everyone will see windy conditions on Saturday and Sunday with some rather chilly temperatures, but I think the best potential for moderate heavy rainfall, we're talking about half an inch or more rain, I think is going to be along the immediate coast, Long Island and coastal Connecticut, everywhere else below a half an inch. If you are in the interior, let's say northeastern Pennsylvania, you likely won't even see a quarter of an inch of rain as the focus will be again right along the coast. So we have one disturbance here, one disturbance here, and then we have an active subtropical gesturing here. So when you combine these three factors with a ridge building in the west, you lead to the potential for a coastal storm that will be focused primarily over the coastal waters, but again, right along the coast is where we're going to be watching. Let's take a look at the latest model guidance using the Penn State Wall website. Today we're going to use the Canadian model guidance. I'm going to show you the worst case scenario. The GFS is generally a miss, but the GFS I have some problems with, with what we call convective feedback. The European model guidance is pretty good. Uh, it's pretty close to where I'm thinking. I would enhance the precipitation just a little bit more. And I like the uh, fact that on the Canadian here, I can get a little bit more in detail. So let's use that model guidance. So for today, high pressure is in control. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s throughout the region for highs. For tonight, sky cloud cover is expected. Could be some fog in some areas. Temperatures will range from the lower to mid 30s over the interior and upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast. For tomorrow, trick or treating, Halloween, everyone will be happy to hear that we can expect dry conditions, increasing clouds, but dry conditions through tomorrow evening. Temperatures will range from the mid to upper 50s for highs throughout the region. By the time you're heading out there to get your candy, ladies and gentlemen, it will be in the upper 40s to mid 50s, so bundle up and wear an appropriate coat with your costume. Now here's where things get interesting. Here's our disturbance diving south. By the time we get to Saturday morning, that disturbance 
is diving towards the mid-Atlantic coast, which we can see right here. Now you see this trough here? This is what I'm concerned about. This trough here is very difficult to forecast for and can lead to some surprise rainfall amounts. So it's something that we're really going to keep an eye on as it evolves over the next 24 to 48 hours. You can see on the worst case scenario on the Canadian model guides, it produces some very heavy rainfall immediately along the coast. But as you move towards the interior, really not that much of an impact. So again, that's why we're keeping an eye on the coast with the potential for this disturbance developing and considering the upper level dynamics involved that's seen on all the model guidance, uh, the threat here for this trough and for the potential for some heavier precipitation, or should I say rainfall, clearly rainfall, no snow here, uh, is something that we're going to have to really keep an eye on for Saturday morning into Saturday afternoon. You can see that focus here at 850 millibars and at the surface here as this strong disturbance wraps up. Now the good news is that this disturbance is going to move pretty fast. So on Saturday it's going to be pretty you know, ugly out there with periods of rain, windy conditions, winds from the northeast around 15 to 25 miles per hour. Temperatures will range from the lower to mid 40s for lows, mid 50s for highs throughout the entire region. We'll feel like the upper 40s with that wind. But then by Saturday night everything starts to clear out. Still we're dealing with strong winds. So look for clearing skies towards morning winds from the north northeast anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour temperatures by sunday morning will range from the upper 20s to lower 30s over the interior and mid to upper 30s along the coast but will feel like the upper 20s to lower 30s throughout the entire region and then by sunday afternoon skies will clear out it will be dry but it will be windy with winds from the north northwest and around 15 to 25 miles per hour decreasing to 10 to 20 miles per hour by the time we get to Sunday evening. Temperatures will range from the mid to upper 40s over the interior and upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast. So clearly a rather chilly day on Sunday with temperatures feeling like the mid 40s. Thereafter for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, high pressure is pretty much in control with tranquil weather conditions. Temperatures will rebound pretty much to near normal levels. We're looking at upper 20s to lower 30s for lows on Monday, upper 50s to lower 60s for highs, and then for Tuesday and Wednesday, looking for temperatures to range from the upper 30s to lower 40s over the interior, lower to mid 40s along the coast for lows, and upper 50s to lower 60s over the interior, and lower to mid 60s for uh, highs along the coast for Tuesday and Wednesday. Pretty much near normal for this time of year. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and LinkedIn. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.